Welcome back boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen, cats and dogs and rabbits and in today's video we are going off to Kings Lynn. I've not gone to Kings Lynn in forever, it feels like absolutely ages. We're going to hit some charity shops obviously, I mean that is what we're about here at Rummage Round aren't we? We're, we? We go around charity shops, pick some stuff up and uh, resell it online for a profit. However, there is one shop in particular I haven't been to in ages and it's probably one of the biggest retro gaming stores I've ever seen around this area so I'm gonna take you along with them have a look at some retro games as well so yeah just a little bit of reselling video a little bit of gaming video a little bit of this a little bit of that can we profit from going to Kings Lynn we're gonna go and hit some charity shops obviously so uh, without further ado obviously let's get into the car drive around for about 40 minutes and uh, fall into some charity shops. Let's get crack a lack in. Boom. But before we do go to Kings Lynn, we must take a few photos with us. So while we find ourselves at a loose end, paying for stuff or just walking around the town, we can list. It's all about being efficiency and efficient and more efficiency. It's all about being efficient when you work for yourself. So when, if I can take some listings with me while I'm walking to my next charity shops or the next shops, then yeah, we'll take that. So we're going to list these Adidas Alpha Bounces. Uh, beautiful condition, to be fair. Look at that. Continental Tire Grips as well. We flip and take that here at Rummage Around. Uh, let's get this listed or photographed and listed while we're walking around. We are then going to take some photos of these beautiful hot pink Russell and Bromley driving shoes. Look at, the, look at that. Look at the tread on this. It's absolutely stunning. We can, uh, yeah, these are driving shoes. You can tell that by the tread on the bottom of the feet. Look at them. Bosh. Nice hot pink. Nice UK size four. Russell and Bromley obviously is a phenomenal brand. And this should sell for about £30. Again, we'll take photos. So when we're walking around Kings Lynn, we can list. And another item that we're going to list while we're walking around is these DMs. These are the Macy's 3s. There has been slight wear to these, so they're not in perfect condition. But plenty of life left, plenty of tread. Should be an easy 25, 30 quid. UK size 2. Don't be afraid to pick up the smaller sizes. Damn, look at that cinematic shot of an Xbox One controller. We're going to get this listed now for about 25 to 28 pound. Get photos taken and take it with us to Kings Lynn. So we've got four items ready to go with us. So that's that's a treat, so we can go to Kings Lynn knowing that we're not cheating on eBay, can't we? So, I'm in my car, brum brum, let's go to Kings Lynn. We have made it to sunny Kings Lynn. Ah, it's not sunny at all. First stop, British Heart Foundation. Yep, believe it or not, we are firing a blank at British Heart Foundation. Ah, you win some, you lose some. There is just absolutely nothing here for us. Oink, oink, oink. To be fair, it's a shame these are three ninety nine. In fact, I think they're three ninety nine for the pair. So if so, we'll definitely take them. The Norfolk Hospice Shop. This is quite a big one, so hopefully we can score some bits and pieces in here. Let's go. These might be worth a little cheeky buy. Gore-Tex, Vibram Sold, sort of like combat military army issued. Five pound. Obviously need a little bit of a TLC. We should be looking at anywhere between like 50 to 80 pound for these. So yeah, we'll definitely be picking these bad boys up. We found some MBTs for four pound. If you don't know, then I don't know why you don't know, but these are absolutely stunning condition. Look at that. Squeeze the heel, make sure they don't crack. These are absolutely solid. These should be an easy 35, 40 quid. Beautiful condition. Look at that. See, I would have bought these, but they absolutely reek of smoke. So I'm just gonna leave them. They are five pounds, so probably worth picking up, but the fact that they smell of smoke puts me off. Video games, three pound each. Who wants to be a millionaire? Nope. I don't think there is anything for us. I mean, in fact, I'm 99% sure, even at three quid each, most of these aren't worth picking up. So, 
it's time to leave. So, we're actually doing pretty well here at King's Lynn. We've got three items so far. Three decent items as well, which is always nice. Uh, yeah, just walking down the street. I think there's a couple of independent ones. And hopefully we can find some more pieces. Let's go. RSPCA, let's be having you. Yeah, I think most of this is just books, books, and more books, and more books. I absolutely have no idea what to look for when it comes to reselling books. So, I'm just going to get out of this shop as quickly as I entered. So, this is a charity shop with no name. It's actually probably one of the better ones. So, let's have a look. So, two video games. Needs to be most wanted. And Primal, I'm not too sure on Primal, but I can't get any signal, but it's 50p each. Need for Speed Most Wanted is an absolute no-brainer. Probably the best Need for Speed out there. Uh, controversial, but it definitely is my favourite Need for Speed. And Primal, I'm not too sure, but 50p each is worth a gamble. I mean, it's pretty creepy when a charity shop selling beds like this. I think I need to uh, come away. But I think I'm going to leave Primal because it's not got its man well. And I could kind of just pick up games now that are fully complete. So unfortunately, I'm going to put this one back. Most Wanted has its man well. So we'll take that one for sure. Sue Rider, everything's £3 or less. Well, hopefully, we can find some stuff in here. Yeah, there's a reason why it's um, £3 or less. Or less. Why am I for? So I thought it was a three pound only shop. So, five pound. And I can only find one on eBay for over 100 pounds. So, we're going to take a chance on it. It's IKEA. It's brand new. It's discontinued. Five pound. Like I said, there's only one on eBay for well over 100 pound. So, uh, Fingers crossed we can get somewhere near that. Well, hopefully we can get a bit more than five pounds, let's put it that way. Yep, and there we have it. Another reason why you should be on the lookout for IKEA. Hopefully an easy triple figure there. Bosh. Right guys, I've got a question for you. Why is it when you're hungry, you always buy more food? So I've gone to Greg's because I was absolutely starving. I bought a baguette, two yum yums, and an eclair and a drink and a chocolate biscuit. Why? Why is it when you're hungry, you buy more food? YMCA, let's be having you. Does anyone need any more puzzles? <sighs> puzzles back in the day though, when it was locked down, they flipping flew out. But now, they don't. What the hell is that ugly thing? I'm loving this American vintage, five pound. American vintage. And look at this one. American vintage. Vintage American. Hmm. Here it is, the retro retreat. Just games. I'm going to James. Games, you can do what you want. Games. And a lot of them. Oh my god. If you ever find this in the wild, it's definitely worth picking up. £150. Gee. Is there anything for the personal collection? Um, so far, no. What's this? More vi- Aye, that game though, no Beyblade V-Force on the Game Boy Advance. Gee, that was a sick game back in the day. So, does anyone need any Skylanders? Because I know a shop that sells thousands of them. Games, games. Games. Wowzers. I've never seen so many PlayStation 1 games in one cabinet. Oh yeah. And more games. Ratchet and Clank. What a game. I need a PS5. I really do. So if anyone finds a PS5 in the uh, charity shop or car boot, let me know. Yeah, cheers, bye. See, every time I find Funko Pops, it's never, ever, ever the ones I'm looking for. I kind of collect the music ones, but I can never find anywhere any music pops. 
Jeez, look at that. Xbox One Hitman 2 Gold Edition. That is absolutely fire. Uh, uh, um, b and Classic. Uh, Bosh. I've got about, I used to have about 60 of these in the uh, unit at one point. Yeah, I didn't buy a single thing from that shop because it's just out of my price range. So this is by far the most expensive cancer research I've ever been to. Like 30 pounds. Prepared Nike Air Force Ones. Point proven. Foot joy golf shoes. 30 pound. I mean, look at that. Burberry London, 150 pound. Wow. You see what I mean? It's the most expensive cancer research you'll ever see in your ever life. 150 pound for probably a fake Burberry London uh, little bag. Bonkers. And we're in the last charity shop. Hopefully, we can finish on a high. I mean, it's not looking too great. I'll tell you what, considering King's Lynn has about 50 charity shops, he's pretty poor. All right, we'll check the one pound rail and see if there's any bargains to be had. Probably not. Just looks like the same crap. Yeah, it was a bit of a fail, the last one. <sighs> some cash for tomorrow's car boot. Let's go. So we've got some cash out. We're actually going to a car boot with James on the Sunday. So that will be pretty interesting. But I think we are done here at Kings Lynn. I don't know if any of you guys do this, but when I need some change, I always buy stationery like the business like brown tape or padded envelopes just to break the change up for the car boots so i'm gonna buy one of these so i can break a 20. might just buy a pack of six of these it's probably not the most efficient way but at least it's staying within the business that's my way of uh of of, of uh yeah convincing myself it's fine it probably isn't fine you're probably gonna tell me differently but a pound for six of these Keeps it within the business. It changes my 20, it breaks my 20 pounds, so I'm happy. So yeah, some of you are probably thinking, why don't I just use the post office? However, the post office behind me is closed. So that was the next, next best thing I could think of at the time. I just needed to change uh, a 20. So we brought a pack of bubble mailers. And normally when I'm in Spalding, there isn't really a decent post office at all. So that's the way <laughs> I get around it. Probably stupid. I know it's stupid, but hey, you win some, you lose some. PS, £1,035 for iPhone 13. <sighs> Apple, I love you, but that's ridiculous. And there we have it, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. We've finished Kings Lynn. Just a small bag for life, full of stock. So now we were home, I've decided to give the uh, army issued combat boots a bit of a clean and they've come up really, really nicely. Like this guy, whoever, <laughs> whoever owned them, obviously didn't do much military work, but I thought I'd just go through some of these items because, especially this item, because my dad was in the army, he's been in the army for 22 years and so I've always been brought up around military stuff. So I have a good understanding of military stuff. So I wanted to share with you some stuff that I know. So this is the army issued number here, the 84399869288. The 99 means it was made in the UK. This is the official stock number of an army issued item. So S00625 would equivalent to... Uh, the Gore-Tex combat boots equivalent. That's a new word. We're going to stick with it. But yes, yeah, so we have the actual item number. We then have the army issued number, uh, the 99 being made in UK. Nine means the UK size, nine medium. And yeah, so if you ever do see any sort of like military stuff that you're not too sure about, then I will be uh, happy to have a look for you. But yeah, definitely be on the lookout for stuff like this because this only owes us a fiver. They've cleaned up absolutely stunning. 
simply because Gore-Tex, Vibram Souls, Army Issued, I was always going to pick them up for a fiver, but should be looking at anywhere between 70 to 90 pound back from a pair of used combat boots. These will probably retail or in the army for about 200 pounds. So there's a big market for used stuff like this. It's more for what, well, what army people call civilians. Civilians love this sort of stuff. So yeah, definitely be on the lookout for army issued stuff. Again, if you do have any questions about any issued army stuff or anything you think that might be army issued, yeah, drop us a message on uh, eBay or, or Instagram or wherever, and I will be happy to help. But hopefully you've learned some stuff. And probably the final item I actually want to talk about, because we didn't really pick up anything amazing apart from the army issued boots and this IKEA light. The reason why I think it's worth a lot of money is because... It's three and a half meters long. So put that in perspective. That's absolutely massive. Like three and a half meters. This could go around somebody's whole kitchen and more. I can only find one on eBay and it's listed for nearly 200 pounds. However, somebody has sold just the transformer bit, which is this middle bit for nearly 100 pound used. So I'm thinking of hitting up for about 150 180 and just taking offers and seeing what sort of interest I have but for the sake of five pound I think we've absolutely smashed it and there we have it ladies and gentlemen boys and girls cats and dogs and rabbits thank your beautiful faces for watching if you did enjoy that video something slightly different it was more of a charity shop vloggy thing yeah make sure you leave a comment in the section below hopefully you've learned something new about the army stuff Maybe not, probably some of you might have known that already. But if you didn't, then let me know in the comment section below. If you did enjoy that, please do me one huge favor before you do go smash the hell out of that like button. It honestly means the world to me. We are on the road to 5,000 subscribers and we are so close. We're on like 4,300 now. So 700 more by the end of the year will be much appreciated. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you on Sunday. Boom. <laughs>